James Carpenter with Country Living. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching my videos. All right, the uh, video today is titled The Tesla Garage. And the reason for that is my son just ordered a Model Y Tesla and we're going to do episodes of building the garage and it will also include picking the Tesla up and bringing it home for the first time and parking it in a new garage. So what I'm doing right now is this bush is in the way of the overhang we're going to put on the building on the left. We're going to come out 15 feet. We're going to go 25 feet deep. We're going to pour a concrete slab and we're going to put a 9 foot wide by 7 foot high insulated garage door with an electric opener on the garage because as you all well know the Tesla uh, can open garage doors and and come and pick you up and do all kinds of fancy stuff so <clears throat> the um, episodes I'm not sure how many there'll be I would imagine quite a few due to the fact that um, we've got to build an overhang on the side of this building and today's episode is basically just starting to get the preparation for the concrete pour and part of that is to get this big bush part of this big bush out of the way so that's a pole saw that I'm using there and I'm cutting the um, the limbs out of the uh, the bush to get it out of the way so bear with me for a little bit while I get this bush cut up the um, the date is February 15th 2023 if that matters the um, Temp outside temperature here in central Ohio is 65 degrees today and you can tell by the way the bushes are moving that the winds blowing pretty good so you couldn't really ask for a better day to take on a project in the middle of winter I have the um, audio turned down a little bit so you don't have to listen to that chainsaw run. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and and the uh, producers, you know, they could edit out some of that, like that wind noise. Oh, it would be terrible if I didn't edit that out of there and that chainsaw is loud. That would be... Um, horrible to have to listen to. I didn't want to put you through all that. Now if you're interested in the content of this video, you have to keep your eye out for, you know, episode 2, episode 3, and so on. I would imagine it's going to take a couple months to get the garage built. And the, uh, Tesla's on order and it's about two months out. I went to the garage door company this morning and ordered the door. It's six weeks out. So everything's everything's gonna kind of tie in together and, and just hopefully just work out perfect for this new Tesla to the Carpenter family here.
got that bush cut back far enough now that I can see the main trunk of the bush and I'm cutting it now. All those corn stalks, they blow in from the farmer's field. My property is surrounded by uh, it would either be corn or beans depending on what the farmers plant. But last fall it was corn. And those corn stalks, uh, not stalks, but I don't know what they call that, holes? I'm not sure. Leaves, I guess, would be another term. Uh, they just seem to be blowing in from the field. In the fall they were really bad and they seem to have uh, picked up again. <clears throat> In the back there you see that deck porch on the top of the hill. That's the uh, root cellar. There's actually um, a video on the root cellar if you want to check it out. It's on my channel. We're going to take the Kubota. And that's my son. He's the one that ordered the uh, Tesla Y. So he's out here giving me a hand with uh, preparation for the, the new garage to park his test land. My son was so excited about the building and he knew this was going to be a really good day to work on the construction or the preparation for the construction that his work actually had excess people and they were offering employees uh, if they wanted to go home they could so he took advantage of that and came home. I'm glad he did because I I wouldn't have been able to get as much work done today as we got done as a pair. It made a, a big difference.
right, looks like we got us another load. I'm going to speed it up. I would have liked to have dumped these in my burn pile, but the yard's too wet right now, and I don't want to put ruts in the yard, so I'll stack them over here. We can either run them through the mulcher or move them. So my son's going to start raking that area up. He's doing that while I'm running that load of uh, debris over to the pile. But as you can see, by removing that bush, we now have plenty of space to build the overhang. You can see the building on the right. You see that downspout in the middle of the building? That's at the 32 foot mark. And the overhang we're going to build for the Tesla will be 24 feet deep. So it'll be pretty close to that downpipe. <clears throat> and it'll be 15 feet about where Jimmy's standing. It'll come over to there. Okay, so that's the stump from the uh, <clears throat> from the bush we took out, and um, I do have a stump remover tool that I believe uh, I I was pretty certain I could get it out with that bucket. The problem I was running into is the bush, the remaining part of the bush. I was trying not to damage it, removing the stump. So I was being a little bit cautious there.
So I decided to quit playing around with the stump and get a chain and wrap a chain around it and pull it out with the tractor. So there we go, it's out. I'm going to take the uh, bucket and back drag that area and kind of smooth it out. As I was doing the work, I made some ruts in the gravel, so I'm just going to kind of smooth that out so the terrain's a little bit easier to travel on. So this is the power source. There's power going to this AC unit. We're going to disconnect the um, condenser, AC condenser. Right now we're, we're checking the uh, power and as you can see it's 220, but we're going from neutral to one side of the hot. And we've got roughly, I think I've seen 124 vo volts, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to go inside and start kicking breakers until that goes to zero, which it did. It was that breaker right there that uh, shut off. So, we're making it safe to work on. Here is the... AC line set that would go into the evaporator. This unit no longer works, so we're just going to get rid of it. <clears throat> the uh, blade on that little sawzall is dull, so it took a few minutes to cut through that copper tubing. That little box is called a disconnect. It was for the AC unit. And it's been there for, gosh, I'm wanting to think 20 years or better. And the uh, 
fasteners in there, they got pretty corroded up. There were a couple of them that wouldn't even turn. You'll see it in one of the upcoming episodes. Uh, we're going to run all new wire. So that wiring you see right there, we'll pull that completely out of the panel box and run brand new wire. That, that wire is 20 years old. I don't want to trust it for the uh, Tesla charger. And that's partially what we're doing here is we're we're going to hook up the Tesla charger and I'm going to put in a, a small panel box so that we can have a couple receptacles in the garage, some lighting and things like that. But you'll see that in another episode. Right here I'm taking a, a little nut loose that holds that uh, conduit into that uh, disconnect. It's amazing. I installed all that 20 years ago. And now I'm taking it out. And when I say 20 years, I'm, I'm thinking it may be longer than 20 years. It's, I really can't remember at this point. <clears throat> I can tell you this much. My beard was black back when I installed it. Now it's gray. <laughs> oh, well. So those two neutrals, I'm cutting those right now, they were, they were just rusted in there. They weren't coming out with that screw. Now that wire I'm cutting there, I put rubber gloves on and I didn't want to take any chances. I couldn't 
remember why that wire was in there but there was no neutral it was just one single red wire that other wire that put a wire nut on it for safety. <clears throat> and I'm going to tape those electrical wires off just in case somebody accidentally turns that breaker on. I was in Home Depot the other day uh, buying a new wire to put this uh, Tesla charger in and the uh, the guy in the electrical section at Home Depot we were he was using some electrical tape and he does the same thing I do he just pulls on it until it breaks and I don't know if that's the way everybody does it or some people cut it or whatever but I uh, I think I picked it up from my dad he was a union electrician and I always watched him do that A little more wiggling and we'll get that disconnect loose. There we go. I'm going to put that little lock ring back on there. Okay, we got all that taken care of. Now we're going to get this old condenser out of here. So I'm going to get this concrete pad out of the way. Now what I can't see from the tractor side from being on a tractor 
is that the concrete pad is just ever so slightly wider than the bucket. I thought I was going to be able to slide that in the bucket, tilt it back, and haul it off. But my son's telling me now that uh, it's too wide for the bucket. He's, he's saying go get the forks. Too wide. So I'm I'm back with the forks now. And that a little hunk of concrete just about exceeds the lifting capability of the tractor. I mean it picks it up but did you see that little bounce? It's, it was uh, it knew it had a hold of something there. Of course I could slide it further back on the forks and that, that would help but I didn't want to shove it up against my building and possibly stab the forks into the building. So here we're going to change the uh, forks out, put the bucket back on. I really, uh, I really like that skid loader style attachment thing. It uh, really makes life simple. I, I always shake the bucket a little bit when I pick the attachment up and what that does for me it makes sure that everything's seated good. There were a few times early on where the, uh, the bucket wasn't on there correctly. So here we, we had laid it out the 15 by 24 and painted a stripe to give us a rough idea how much topsoil we had to get out of here for the project. And then you'll notice I've got the uh, Piranha Tooth Bar. I'm sure that helps, but uh, it, the tractor still, it's either I'm not the best operator or the tractor's just not quite big enough for digging but it does dig, don't get me wrong. But um, I think maybe I just need to improve my skill level. Because I've watched other people on YouTube dig with um, little Kubota tractors and they seem to uh, be able to do a pretty good job. I guess overall after I scooped a few scoops out of there I got a little bit better towards the end I was able to get bigger scoops There may be someone watching that has a much higher skill level than me with the um, smaller Kubota tractors or s compact tractors in general that could maybe look at what I'm doing here and, and, and give me some hints on what I'm doing wrong.
There we go. That's a nice one. Of course, I've seen a lot of diesel smoke coming out of that exhaust. I was working that little Kubota. Again, this is going to be episodes, which means that there will be several more videos on the um, Tesla garage build and the, t and the taking uh, delivery of the Tesla Model Y, the first Tesla in the family here. I, um, I'm waiting for the Cybertruck to come out myself. I'd like to to get the cyber truck I uh, I think it's a very unusual looking vehicle and uh, you know it kind of reminds me of the pacer when it came out in the mid 70s 74 or so the first time I seen one on the freeway I I thought it was a UFO uh, given the shape of it and then, of course, AMC, they made that Gremlin. It was a little bit different looking, but it was a pretty neat looking little car. But I think the Cybertruck, you might be able to get it in th with three motors. My son's Model Y is going to have uh, two motors. Okay, so for those of you who are subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed and you enjoy my content, by all means, subscribe. And obviously, uh, it only takes a minute to hit that like button, but that helps out too with the channel. So if you want to take a minute to hit the like button, I'd appreciate that. And if you're interested in this Tesla garage build, stay tuned. There will be more episodes. Thank you for watching my video.